Well, I think if you look back through history, uh, there are a couple of things that have enabled a military force to, to win decisively. One of those might be a brand new capability that the adversary didn't have, you know, whether it's the longbow or precision guided weapons or something like that. But the other thing that really enables uh, that kind of decisive win is far better understanding of your battle space. And, and that's why a capability like Hawkeye 360 is so important. Uh, potentially important to the warfighter to, to fill in those gaps of knowledge uh, that um, are could end up being decisive in a tactical engagement or in an operational uh, mission. My name is James A. Uh, Sandy Winnefeld. Now, I grew up in a Navy family and, and ended up doing 37 years in the U.S. Navy that I would uh, essentially divide into three chunks. The first chunk was serving as a fighter pilot flying off of aircraft carriers, uh, during which time I was also an instructor at Top Gun. And then the middle portion was going through the Navy's nuclear propulsion program, uh, ultimately to become uh, the captain of an aircraft carrier, and I had USS Enterprise. And then the last third was sort of as a flag officer, carrier strike group command, fleet command, and then ultimately I had as my last tour uh, serving as the Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The sexy piece of intelligence has always been imagery. And we've gotten really good at getting imagery relatively quickly and being able to exploit it and analyze it very quickly. We haven't been quite as uh, good about getting RF. Uh, and it's just not front of mind always. And it needs to be because it really add, is additive both in terms of potentially tipping and queuing uh, imagery assets, but also just adding uh, uh, pieces of the puzzle that you didn't have before. A good example would be when I was a carrier strike group commander in the Arabian Gulf. And we are very interested, obviously, in all the maritime traffic that's in the Arabian Gulf. Most of it is broadcasting an AIS signal. We can see some of it on our own organic radars from our own ships, but we can't see the entirety of the whole Gulf. And there are some potential ships out there who are not broadcasting some of those signals that could uh, mean harm to us. But having real-time, rapid uh, access to uh, non-organic ELINT information, or RF GEOINT, would have uh, really uh, filled in a lot of those blanks for us and made us a lot more confident in what we uh, would uh, have as our understanding of that battle space. Uh, British historian Lyd L. Hart has a great quote, the only thing more difficult than getting a new idea into the military mind is getting an old idea out. I think there's a lot uh, of almost immediate applicability for commercial RF uh, uh, capability to augment government RF capability. And that's something that Hawkeye 360 does every single day in discovering, uncovering new use cases for this amazing commercial RF uh, capability.